welcome to my exhibition. My name is Yvonne Manapan, and you are witnessing my exhibition called Sun, Moon, Light, Plain Air Paintings by Yvonne Manapan. There are 29 paintings in this exhibition. It runs till June 2nd, 2023. This painting here is my favorite painting of the exhibition. It's the largest painting I've done to date. It's four feet by seven feet. Uh, it is painted on panel and it's acrylic paint. Uh, this was made over several months, many, many layers. I love this painting because of the action of the water, just layers of paint. It took a long time to do. There's really beautiful light. Thank you for coming to my exhibition and I look forward to talking to you more about my work. This is my painting called Holly Eva. It is located on the North Shore of Oahu. Uh, I really love this painting because the foreground has all of this action in the tide pool area with the rocks and then you go through the, as in a zigzag composition and you come upon people playing at the beach, sunny day, and then you have back here at the harbor, sailboats and the Waianae Mountains in the background. I'm in all those sunflowers. Obviously it's a painting about these beautiful yellow sunflowers. And I think the season is in July. I painted this subject several times. I really enjoy this composition, especially because of the one point perspective. You can see that these sunflower rows are going back into space back here. And then you have the uh, Ko'olau Mountains and they are portrayed in that sort of purple, soft muted color because as things move back into space, they tend to mute out and soften. And then you have these mountains in the middle ground and they're painted with more, I'd say just more color and more structure, more uh, warm colors too. And uh, you can see here that there's this sort of hay and grass area with lots of different textures. These are at the peak of the season, so they're standing up straight. Uh, I love painting sunflowers just because they have so many fun gestures. The heads are not actually falling as if they are um, starting to wilt and die. They're actually upright. So this is a real fun picture. I think uh, it's pretty successful painting. Okay, this is called Makapu'u view. This painting was actually done right at the site where you sort of hike up and you can look over and see this incredible view of Makapu. This is a favorite surf spot for expert surfers and bodyboarders. But I love this area just because the water truly looks like this. It's sort of like phthalo green and then you have these deep blues where the water is quite deep. Then you've got these distant mountains in the background and oftentimes, especially around Waimanalo area, a lot of rain. So we have lots of beautiful clouds that are just uh, are full of uh, water. So you can see here that I've captured that. And then they cast these incredible shadows over the water too, so you have lots of variation. This is a painting called Heia Boat Harbor, and it's just a painting of a little white sailboat that I found intriguing. I liked how the light was hitting this, this side of the boat. Actually, you can see that the sun is coming from this side. And it's just a small little contemplative painting about this sailboat. And this is basically a portrait of this sailboat. I like the little mass of this, uh, this painting and the background, and you can see the mountains in the back. Also, it's a kind of a foggy uh, morning, so you can see here that there's a lot of clouds. It was a cloudy day, not a sunny day. This painting is called Mauna Kea Marketplace. This is probably one of my favorite paintings. This was what I wanted this painting to be about. These sort of dancing, rhythmic, uh, colorful umbrellas. We have people shopping in here. We have lots of textures of fruits and vegetables, boxes of items. We have people working and kind of carrying things out of the, uh, the scene. And there's a woman shopping here with her little pink jacket on. But here, I just think that 
there's a lot of fun activity going on and this is one of my favorite places to paint in uh, Chinatown it's called Mauna Kea shopping area you can buy fruits and vegetables and I tend to do that after I've done a painting so this is called Ala Moana Sunfish and it's one of my favorite paintings I really enjoy painting these little sailboats which are called sunfish people take uh, sailing lessons on Saturday mornings and we tend to paint here on the, in the mornings uh, at Ala Moana and you can see the iconic diamond head in the background with the Hilton Hawaiian Village so there's a lot of fun colorful harmony going on in this painting it is definitely about these sunfish the focal point area the design is to take you in and around and back and then background of the sky so the foreground is all about these little sunfish uh, sailboats and then the reflections of the water is really important to me that's something that I really get into I really enjoy painting this the reflections on the water this painting is called Ho'umalahia and this is Heia fish pond both paintings were painted in different locations on the windward side, but you can see that there are very similar color palette. Also the way I dealt with the mountains and the structures of the Ko'olau Mountains. But what I like about both of these paintings is the palette. So I have a very rich, deep, dark palette in this Ho'omalahia painting. Um, we have this sort of cloudy but yellow sky reflection. Um, I liked kind of pushing that a little bit further against that purple. Purple and yellow are the color complements, so I tend to play with color complements a lot in my paintings, just like the Impressionists used to do. You see there's all kinds of textures here, so you've got warm and cool colors, and then this Kayabe tree. So it's basically an L-shape composition, uh, but really what I want people to do is kind of come in here and go around this road. There is the Pali Highway back that way, but then there's the mountains and deep space in the back. This is Heia Fish Pond, and you can see that there are very similar colors that there are in Ho'omalahia Ho painting. Um, this composition is basically... I'd say a Z shape, and you can see that the mountains and the Ko'olau are really uh, painted with a lot of expression. So it was somewhat of a cloudy day, as you can see, but there's a lot of reflections and purples that are kind of coming off the mountain there. There he is. They call this baby Makapu uh, locally because this is where people take their little babies to swim and to first get into the ocean safely. So there's uh, large beach areas and they set up their tents and people come and play all day with their babies. Here in the middle ground you can see the Oceanography Research Center and in the background you can see all those Ko'olau Mountains and those beautiful uh, billowing clouds full of rain and it probably rained that day but still a beautiful day in Hawaii. This painting behind me is called Pounders, and it was painted in La Ie, uh, up on the windward side, North Shore. And I really like this painting. It is a zigzag composition going back into space. You can see the Ko'olau's in the background, and then ironwood trees back here. Also ironwood tree here in the foreground. Um, this day was a little bit more calm than normal. Usually... They call it Pounders because all the body surfers enjoy going there. It's a short break, so it's a little dangerous, kind of like Makapu. But I do love to get into the greens and all of the various tones where, the, uh, where it's a little bit more shallow and then deeper in the background. This area is this massive land and rock, and this is where the waves really hit and crash and have carved out this little space here. Uh, that's where they. That's why they call this area Pounders. But I do enjoy painting in this spot. I really love the warm and cools in this painting. And like I said, this is a great place for a picnic and to enjoy your afternoon. This painting behind me is called View of the Mokes. And here are the Mokes right here. 
this is located on Lanikai, which is the windward side, next to Kailua. It's a really lovely area, beautiful area. This whole area, Lanikai, is very expensive real estate, but I was thinking, let's just put it back in the old days. And so these are sort of like tin roofs, rusted out, but also play with the color complements like red and green. So warm, cool colors, you have yellow and purple. So as, as I was thinking about this painting, I really wanted to play off of those color complements in here. So you have sort of a very lush area of greens and flowers, and then these little homes sort of tucked away, uh, kind of takes you back maybe a long time ago, but with the view of the mokes in the background. I think this is a really fun painting just because of the color complements and also thinking way back and sort of being more imaginative. Uh, these are observational paintings for sure, but I was also using my imagination. Thank you for coming to my exhibition. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is located at Hawaii Pacific University, the Hawaii Loa campus. It runs from May 23rd to June 2nd, 2023. And I just want to say a few things about my philosophy and why I paint. Basically, I've been painting for the last 30 years. I studied art at the Art Institute of Chicago and at the University of Oregon. Both places taught me the fundamentals of painting and drawing. And then I've been an active person who really enjoys going to museums and just lifelong learners. So anytime I can have a chance to look at actual paintings, I do. I study a lot about favorite artists of mine who inspire me, but mainly my philosophy when I'm painting outside is to get into sort of a deep meditation about the world around me and what I'm looking at and how the light is hitting different objects in space and going back to the fundamentals of what I know about painting. I really like to just sort of get lost in the act of painting and to me it's just a zen-like experience and all I really want to do is just become a a better painter and just keep this practice going throughout my life. So I will continue to paint my entire life and my goal is just to become a better painter and hopefully people will enjoy the work that I do. Thank you.